Celebrating women who tell our stories is the national theme for 2023 Women's History Month as it recognizes women in all forms of media and storytelling to include TV, print, radio, art, stage, screenplay, blogs, playwrights, authors, and more. WJAB-TV wants to celebrate our own as we celebrate women who tell their stories, the Alabama A&M University edition. Here is Erica Washington with her story. Hi, I'm Erica Fox Washington. I'm program director for WJAB in the Department of Electronic Media Communications at Alabama A&M University. I'm from Davis, California, which is up north near Sacramento, and I got into radio in high school. We had a radio station on campus. You could only hear it on campus. You couldn't hear it like at home or in your car. I always listened to two guys on the radio, Wolfman Jack and Dr. Don Rose was at a station in San Francisco. So I've just been in radio ever since. So that's like 1981, how long I've been in radio. Although I've been in radio in different radio stations here in Huntsville, Alabama, and at home in California, I just had wonderful opportunities to be able to interview people, talk with people, be on stage with different artists, so just different areas like that have really been beneficial to me in my career. I, I'm blessed that I have not had any roadblocks or barriers or anybody stopping me from doing what I feel needs to be done to you know, move the business forward. But I have experienced the imposter syndrome where I felt like I was not enough or I was not adequate enough, not uh, contributing enough, even though I feel that I am. And I know I'm adequate and I know I'm qualified to do the job I'm doing, but as I felt like I'm not because of somebody else's possible insecurities, uh, they're unqualified, I just continue to keep doing my job because thank you, I'm still here, I'm still working, so obviously I'm doing something right. I have to make me time because I like being involved, especially when it's community service, civic and social engagement. I like to be involved, but I have to learn how to say no, and I do have to make me time, and I'm doing a lot better about it. And when I do have me time, I'm with family, or I'm at home just resting. I profess I watch too much television, but I like watching TV, so that's downtime for me. Um, I'm doing better about resting and getting more sleep. So that's basically the, some of the things that I try to do. One of the biggest mistakes I did, I'm not sure if it maybe is a mistake, or maybe just maybe overly aggressive. I worked at our rival university back in the early 2000s, and the station was out of compliance, and I was just eager about getting us in compliance. So I was staying there every night, staying to work every night to about 9, 10 o'clock. And somebody made a good point, it's like, Erica, it'll be here tomorrow. Go home and come back tomorrow. But during the process, the rivals were like, who does she think she is? Why is she here? She's trying to make all these changes. So I learned that you can't make these changes right then and there, that there needs to be a process to go about it, take your time, but you can make the changes in a positive manner. Put your boots on the ground and your voice in the air. Ask questions. Get involved. Um, as I said, social civic engagement, that's what allowed me to be able to rub shoulders with a lot of people and do a lot of interviews with people I not normally would have had the opportunity to do so. So get in the trenches and get involved, ask questions. One internship that I had in my undergrad days, I watched the other interns and they just sat there. If you didn't ask questions and get involved, they will just let you sit there. The advisors, I would say the employees, will let you sit there. Don't sit there. Get involved, get engaged, get educated, get interested in, in your field and the craft that you want to build for yourself. My favorite quote is Maya Angelou, when you know better, you do better. So if you know better, just make a point to do better, make it better, let it show better, let it sound better. There's always ways to improve, so when you know better, you do better.